uh, si Brother Chris po, lagi kaharap mga may-ari ng BMW na in, in other words, may mga, mga mayayaman. Alam niyo naman pagmayaman, parang may lisensya magmura, may lisensya maglait. Ganyan yung klase ng kanya ginaharap. Pero may mga problema mahirap na alam ko, sasabihin ni Kuya Chris, it was because of God. Ibigay natin sa Lord ang kalwalhatian sa ating mga ginagawa. Basahin natin ang 1 Corinthians 9.19. Si Paul po, he made himself a servant of all. Now, bakit kaya natin ito gagawin? 1 Corinthians 9.19. Bakit ba natin ito gagawin? Magpakumbaba, maging servant ng lahat. Ano sabi ni Paul? That I might, I might gain the more. Ang puno at dulo ay upang madala natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga kabanggagawa at mga amo. Amen? At maging katulad sila ni King Darius na sinasabi nila, Your God, the living God, the true God, the God whom you serve, He will protect you. He will save you. Siguro napakahambol talaga nila niya. Hindi siguro, I am sure. Because otherwise, nakipagsuntukan na siguro siya doon sa mga tao na lumaman sa kanya. So if you are a worker, today is Labor Day, and you know that you know that you have not been a good worker. Remember this last verse. And we will close with this. Last two verses, Mark 10, 44 to 45. Even the Son of Man, Jesus Himself, whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. And verse 45, for even the Son of Man came not to be served. Jesus came not to be served, but to serve and to give His life as a ransom for many. <laughs> Alam niyo po, kapag na po kayo ay naglilingkod, makakaranas po kayo ng iniinsulto kayo. Makakaranas kayo ng umurahin kayo ng amin ninyo pagagalitan kayo, mula ulo hanggang paa. Pati yung kinain ninyo, halos ipasuka sa inyo pag nagkamali kayo. Pag maayos ang utak, bibigyan kayo ng something. Kapag magkagalit, isusumbat ang unti mong kahit na yung pinaghirapan mo at sahod mo naman talaga yun, pera mo yun, isusumbat. Unti mong pinapakain sa'yo. You know what? I'm so good to you know. I even bring you out to. <laughs> Tapos, Iinsultuhin ka mula ulo hanggang pa. But even Jesus, He came to serve and not to be served. Meron po kami ganyan regalo sa inyo. But only those, as a love. We, we made wooden crosses. Ito po, mahal po ito. Bakit po ito mahal? Nagkakalyo po ang aking po kasama sa bahay si Ate Manuel, si Kuya, si Kuya Michael, si Ate Cecil, si Ate Elida, tumulong ko na rito, kaunti, si Ate Josan. Mahal po ito. But we will give this only to people who will say that from today, this cross will remind me that I came to serve and not to be served. Iiwanan ko po ito dito. Do not take one if you're not sure you want to go the way of the cross. Jesus, He made Himself of no reputation. Napahiya siya. Sa sobrang hiya niya, hindi na siya nakabango until the third day. Biro lang po. Napahiya siya, pinahiya siya, inalipura, inalipusta, Ah, he suffered. Death, he suffered. 
the worst kind of agony. And all he could say is, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Even after everything. And you know what? In God's omniscience, in God's ability to know all things, He knew. Please look at me. God knew that His Son, our Lord, would suffer rejection in the hands of man. But He loved just the same. Alam niyo, may mga amo na difficult. There will be difficult bosses. They always abound everywhere. But if you think of what Jesus did on the cross, everything else seems very easy. If you think of how Jesus forgave you, how he gave his life to you, everything else will be easy. After our prayer, slowly, it will be between you and God. Do not give it, do not pass it around. If you want, it's okay, praise God. If you don't want, because you cannot make the commitment, it's also up to you. But I just wish that you will take one cross and you will be reminded every single day, I have to obey my boss. It's the word of God. It's what the word of God says. I have to think of myself not highly as I should. Not more highly than I should. And I should honor honor my, my bosses. It will be a cross. Because as people, bilang mga tao, mag-pride tayo. Marami pong mga nagtatrabaho sa bahay, sa tagal na nila sa kanilang amo, nakikipagkompetensya na sila sa amo nila. Sasalita na sila, walang galang minsan. Pero kahit gaano sila kasama, remember, sila pa rin ang nagpapakain sa pamilya mo. Nagkagaling pa rin sa kanila ang pera pinapadala mo sa Pilipinas. And if only for that, you have to bless them. You have to forgive them. You have to pray for them. If you really cannot take it anymore, stop complaining. Pray for another job. Pray for another job. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you came not to be served, but to serve. Thank you for your example, Lord. I just pray, Lord, pakialaman mo ang trabaho ng mga isa. Na mga tunay na nagtatrabaho at mga estudyante. Lord, pakialaman niyo po. Pakialaman niyo po. We entrust to you everything. We pray that you would have better testimony from this time on. Hayaan mo na makalimutan ng aming employers kung ano kami dati, kung kami ay masama, kung kami ay hindi naging maayos. Lord, ayaan po ninyo na beginning today, we will have that second chance, that second win in this race. Thank you, Lord. The Father, I also pray, Lord God, sa mga may pangangailangan. May they look to you, offer a finisher of the And may we learn to trust fully in you. Because blessed is the man who puts his trust in you. Lord, sino man ang may karamdaman, we claim healing. As the word of God says, by your stripes you are healed. Salamat ng marami, Panginoon, sa kagalingan. Salamat ng marami sa provisyon ng pera. Salamat sa pag-aayos ninyo ng aming mga relasyon. Thank you, Lord. Salamat, Panginoon. Hindi po kayo nagkukulang, Lord. Hindi kayo magkukulang at hindi kayo nagkulang. Thank you, Father God. Maging Lord doon sa mga may desisyon na gagawin. May pinamimilian sila. Uuwi ba? Hindi. Nilipat ba ng trabaho? Hindi. Nilipat ba ng bahay? Hindi. May mga kailangan gawin desisyon. Kakausapin ba yung tao na yun? Hindi. Lord, I pray for wisdom for all of us. And I believe when we ask in faith, in the name of Jesus, it will be done to us because you said in your word, ang humingi, humingi na may pananampalataya, dahil ang walang pananampalataya ay hindi tatanggap. Thank you, Father God. We give you the praise, Lord. Binabalik namin sa inyo ang kapurihan sa lahat ng pagpapala. Preserve us, O God. Preserve us, Holy Spirit. Preserve
preserve us in the name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. I speak blessing, Lord, upon each and every one in this place. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We'll sing that song. Thank you for the cross. As we go, bago po tayo mag offering. I, I'd like to distribute this as we sing this song, but you have to come forward. Only those who are willing.
for you first forgive us. We will retaliate, Lord, with your gospel. That we might win more, gain more, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father God.
Holy Spirit na nagtuturo sa amin ng katotohanan ng iyong salita. Thank you, Lord God, that you never leave us nor forsake us. Salamat sa iyong salita, Panginoon, aming narinig ngayong pagkakitulong. Lord, let your words dwell in our hearts. Let them be placed in the tablets of our hearts, that we may not depart from them. Surely, Lord, your words will never return to you empty and void, but will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. Tulungan mo po kami, Panginoon, na i-obey ang inyong mga salita. Nagsabi ko po, Lord, if we love you, we will obey your commands. Lord, Salamat po dahil ang iyong pagsama, dahil ang iyong pagpapalakas ay lagi na sa amin. Salamat po, Panginoon, dahil sa araw-araw, pinapakita mo, Panginoon, na hindi mo kami pinababayaan. You never leave us, you never forsake us. Salamat sa iyong mga promises, Panginoon. Salamat dahil ang iyong mga promises are yes and amen. At salamat po, Panginoon, dahil na amin namin ang katagumpayan because of the faith that you have put in our hearts trust in your words, to trust in your promises. At sa aming mga natanggap na salita, galing sa iyo, sa mga kong ito, Panginoon, nagpapasalamat po kami dahil inaangkin namin ang victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you.